Well, here we are again, August 31st, your birthday. And this is a big one. This one, this one's got some importance to it. The big 3-0. I can't believe it. Honestly, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I, I lost the bet in the pool, but you're here and I guess we got to talk about you again. I, uh, I don't got much to say. I really thought I'd wouldn't really know you at this point in my life. I kind of had that bucket list thing around 27 and just kind of let you go. But I guess I'm kind of stuck with you. Well, actually, you're stuck with me as a lifelong friend and, you know, maker of these amazing videos. But, yeah, 30 years. That's awesome. That really is. I, uh, I don't know if you accomplished much, but actually you didn't accomplish anything. I mean, you think you did, but you really didn't. But what I'd like to do for you is first start off by saying happy birthday and welcome to old age. Things start to change when you when you get over that hump. And I'm going to read you some, just a few facts about turning 30. Um, some things like there will be a few things that excite you, like actually being asked for your ID. However, you'll get a little ticked off when somebody calls you sir or ma'am, because, you know, that just makes you feel really, really old. You get excited when you go to events and things, and there's actually a place to sit down, and you don't have to actually stand. We know those days are long gone. Let's see. When you tell stories from high school and you realize that those things happened over 10 years ago, yeah. What else do I have here? Let's see if I can find one more for you. Let's see here. Oh, when you really can't leave home without things like Advil, Tums, something, because you know you're either going to get a headache or an upset stomach or heartburn or something because, well, let's be honest, your body's not the same. So those are just a few funny facts about turning 30. Honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, look at me. I'm just a model of 30. Actually, I'm 31, so I'm a model of, you know, the 30s now. I mean, I look good. But, you know, little known facts, though, that I want to get into with you that I've never shared in all these years is you actually helped me win some pretty cool things and actually be a, a part of some tremendous game shows. So I'm going to show you some things, some images you've actually never seen before of my time on certain game shows and you actually helping me in most instances, but one, you kind of actually screwed me. But we're going to get into that right now. So hang back, sit tight, and I swear this won't be much longer. So something you didn't know about me is actually I was on Jeopardy many years ago. Something I don't really talk about, <clears throat> but I actually won. Um, actually, right at the last second there in Final in Jeopardy. And um, I have a couple images for that. And first, I want to show you the final jeopardy question so take a look so the final jeopardy question was name something old and you'll see by my response i was 100 percent correct i uh i beat out the person next to me if you see uh her answer yeah i know right she was way off so yeah so that was jeopardy i won the game i won a good chunk of change and uh, it was all thanks to you, actually. So I just want to say thank you for that. Now, the next game I was actually on uh, that nobody knows about is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This one was a little tricky. I, I actually had a tough one, but you'll see by the image here. So the question was, you know, who's the greatest hockey player? And... I actually had to pull the audience for this one. I think it was mostly nerves. I mean, when you're in front of an audience like that and, you know, it gets a little nerve wracking. You got Regis Philbin in front of you and I pulled the audience and despite their results, I really had to go with my gut there and it, it failed me. It failed me miserably. And I mean miserably. So I lost that one. I was a little heartbroken, but um, yeah, you owe me. 
about $75,000 because that's what I would have won if I got that question right. So I, I take wire transfers, direct deposit, checks, credit card, cash, whatever you want. Just get it to me in the next 30 days. That'd be great. Thanks. So actually, wait, wait, before we get to the next one, um, I want to go back to that image. Um, I thought it was kind of funny and kind of ironic that the poll the audience, if you look in the upper corner there that I have circled, looks like it really looks like somebody's flipping the bird. So <laughs> I thought that was ironic that that looks like it's flipping the bird. And right now you're looking at it and it's flipping you off. So <laughs> it's just, you know, got to throw in what I can. Anyway, so the final one here that nobody knows about is my stint on Wheel of Fortune. Um, again, made it to the final round. Um, really nervous, very scared at uh, you know the potential to to win some money. Or there was actually a couple trips on on the prize wheel, and yeah, a couple of cars. So I picked um, the category though things that suck. I was I'd never really heard that one before in Wheel of Fortune, but I said okay, you know, I, there can only be so many. Um, but I got it right, and as you can see there, I won uh, the thirty thousand. And here's actually the the winning uh, puzzle that I got. Again, John, happy birthday! Happy thirtieth birthday! Have a lot of fun this weekend. Enjoy yourself. We'll have to get together soon. And I may say a lot about you sucking and being a terrible person. All true, but in all honesty, you're a great friend. We always have a lot of fun, and here's to many more years of laughs, of fun, of good times, and more of these birthday videos. And next year will actually be the 10th anniversary of these birthday videos. It's the first one I made when you were 21, and I'll do something special next year. So have a good one, sir, and enjoy.